Dear friends, welcome to learning about. In this video, I've come up with another great news. So TCS, they have announced another off-campus hiring. Now this is TCS Atlas uh, hiring. So I'll be sharing the uh, details regarding that uh, in this uh, video. So they are inviting postgraduates in mathematics, statistics and economics from the 2023 batch for this TCS Atlas uh, hiring. And this TCS Atlas hiring is designed for young talent with a passion for innovation to reimagine businesses through a data centric approach. Now the roles and other details I'll be uh, sharing uh, in a little while. Okay, uh, sometime uh, uh, after a few minutes in this video. Now first, uh, as far as salary is concerned, they have not mentioned uh, like uh, the salary details. So uh, my guess is somewhere it it, it could be uh, somewhere around you know like four lakhs, four point five lakhs. You know like it it can be in uh, that range or a little uh, uh, higher okay now as far as important dates are concerned 15th of december is the last day to register and 25th of december is the date of exam okay now uh, so if you are registering in the tcs portal for the first time do not you know like uh, especially in that case do not wait until the last date uh, if you are eligible and willing just go for it immediately because that initial registration may take some time okay so it's better to finish it early so anyhow for last date is 15th and uh, the assessment will be the return assessment will be held on 25th of december okay subsequently in like uh, in, in uh, two or three weeks okay so uh, subsequent to the uh, assessment you may get the uh, results okay and then uh, interview might be conducted uh, uh, in phases okay now please remember this is a pan india massive uh, hiring okay so uh, as far as the interview is concerned it may take you know like some time but the assessment uh, will be held on 25th of uh, december and uh, also please remember only like uh, qualified you know like uh, only eligible people will be called for the assessment okay so the only shortlisted people will be called for the assessment now coming to the educational qualification so full time post graduation courses with specializations in mathematics statistics and economics are eligible to apply for this particular hiring that is msc mathematics msc statistics and msc economics or ma economics only these courses are eligible to apply uh, for this and uh, it should be like full time uh, course okay part time and correspondent courses will not be encouraged and as far as percentage criteria is concerned so they are asking for a minimum of uh, 60 percentage throughout your academic milestone that is like class 10th 12th diploma or if, if applicable graduation and post graduation now this is uh, uh, an IT hiring okay so it typically in TCS IT hiring they are asking for like 60 percentage right 60 percentage or 60 GPA now as far as areas are concerned uh, they are permit a maximum of one active or one current backlog okay uh, uh, the, no, this is for the 2023 batch okay anyhow this hiring is for 2023 batch only and this area uh, concession is only for the 2023 batch okay and uh, two years uh, maximum like of two years break uh, in between you know like the academic milestones is permitted and uh, like as i said earlier course you know like only full-time courses are uh, eligible to apply for this uh, like in secondary and senior secondary if you have uh, completed the course through nios that is national institute of open schooling then there is an exemption otherwise you know like all courses should be completed on a regular full-time basis and uh, as i mentioned before year of passing only 2023 batch eligible for this particular hiring for the earlier batches maybe su subsequently you know like uh, after you know like uh, uh, a few weeks you know like maybe they may uh, uh, announce okay or, or probably after this hiring they may uh, announce you know like for the pay, uh, earlier uh, batches okay because for the earlier batches it was open for a very long time and only a few months back they had closed that okay and uh, so freshers are very much eligible uh, for this uh, of course this is a hiring for freshers but anyhow if you have like up to two years of experience uh, still you are eligible okay and the upper age limit is 28 years of age now coming to the selection process so there are uh, the total you know like duration for the written test is 90 minutes and there are four sections okay which includes statistics mathematics economics and uh, uh, programming okay uh, so uh, if you see typically you know like questions related to uh, uh, probability uh, stats okay and then like uh, uh, probably something related to uh, linear uh, uh, programming and all that okay and of course economics and all that you can expect and also like programming questions okay now uh, i don't have exactly the tcs atlas you know like questions but 
typically the programming questions or statistics questions or mathematics questions are asked in TCS. Uh, it is available as you know like some of the questions are available as video some of the questions are available in pdf format in the in our telegram channel you know like you can uh, go through that and make use of it now this is the selection process so those who qualify the selection process uh, will be called for the uh, interview so in your interview uh, you will get questions related to your project your area of uh, interest okay when i say project you are uh, uh, like uh, a final year or pre-final year, whatever you know like at whatever stage whatever projects you have uh, done uh, you might ha have you know your academic projects you may get questions related to that apart from that you know like as i said for the return assessment you may get questions related to uh, statistics uh, probability uh, let's say li like uh, uh, linear uh, programming okay some mach machine learning uh, basics right uh, and uh, of course you know like if you're from economics background and all that uh, questions uh, related to that okay uh, you can uh, get okay now this is regarding the interview right so now this is regarding the selection process now as far as the role offering is concerned okay so they have given you know like uh, uh, a long outline okay so which says that you know like you'll be uh, playing an integral role in data extraction transformation feature extraction and model development for basic to moderate complexity predictive uh, models okay uh, so you'll be behind you know like most of the available to I mean you'll be understanding the concept behind most of the available tools and techniques etc uh, right uh, and uh, will be working in understanding of various problems and their typical solutions uh, across uh, the string of uh, domains okay so all the uh, regular uh, things they have mentioned okay and you should possess the expertise about the communications and presentation requirement from data scientists uh, including peer reviews and other publications etc now this is like while you uh, work okay now this is uh, this is the picture that they are giving like while you will be working okay so processing the knowledge of data science packages such as python r etc will be vital to your role this is again during your work okay so at this point of time uh, your subject knowledge uh, uh, probably is enough uh, to uh, go through this assessment okay and the subsequent interview but this is during your uh, if you subsequently get selected okay this is uh, when you undergo this particular role okay this is what will be happening is what they have mentioned right Now the very important part how to apply uh, if you already have you know like uh, register the next up portal uh, it will save time it will save some time otherwise you know like uh, uh, anyhow in either case okay uh, i'll you know like explain this uh, part and i have also made a detailed video in english as well as tamil on how to register in the next up uh, uh, portal okay so there are two scenarios if you are already registered you know like you just log in complete the application form if you have any updates you make it and then just click on apply for drive uh, and then you have to choose your center and all that okay now in case you are new user okay you just have to click on the register now you have to choose the category as it now that's very important okay you have to choose the category as it complete the form and then go for apply for drive okay now i'll i'll just you know like take you through the complete details so if you are come registering for the first time okay you'll get this page when you click on the link that i provide in the description below when you okay so you'll you have to choose it here and then fill it up okay now first you have to do the basic registration and then the application form and then finally apply for drive etc now when it comes to the basic registration which is the next step portal registration you have to if you are coming in for the first time you have to fill in your name date of birth gender email id mobile number institution name uh, your qualification batch okay there is a year of passing etc and then importantly the nearest test location okay i think subsequently also you may be able to fill nearest test location but whatever it is when you are filling up the nearest test location give a location which you are comfortable with okay and, and please remember not just tier one cities okay uh, uh, even like uh, your district headquarters your taluka headquarters uh, may be there okay because even if they may not have a tcs di direct tcs ion center they may uh, have a small center in a nearby you know like a college or something like that okay so whatever is your locality you check your uh, nearest uh, taluka headquarters name or uh, uh, the district headquarters name okay so uh, but or, or whatever is basically user convenient location because especially this exam is going to be on a christmas day uh, right uh, so uh, traveling etc might be a little you know like uh, uh, christmas new year and all that okay so traveling etc might be a little difficult and all that so it's better to choose a a, a, a good uh, location okay so nearest test location and then give the password now once you have completed the initial location you'll get a confirmation mail and all that for this particular part 
then you have to enter your email id uh, uh, as the law username or you can give the reference id as the username and then give you a password and then you uh, go inside okay and then complete the application form wherein you have to fill in your personal details your academic uh, 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 details your achievements etc and then uh, finally go for apply for drive the personal details means you have to fill in your address contact details in academic details like your 10th 12th graduation post graduation if any work experience all that you have to fill and then your, your language is known achievements scholarship certifications and then you have to upload your resume and photograph in the form much specified all right uh, so if you have any difficulties you try to change the browser or you try to change your desktop or uh, laptop whatever you're using usually the desktop portal does not support uh, mobile devices do not attempt to not just this application do not attempt any application through your mobile applications better to go for except maybe in case of some google form or something like that maybe you can try but for this desktop portal or super site and all that okay you better please go for a laptop or a desktop right so for this you please use a laptop or a desktop now after you know like uh, uh, completing the application form you have to click on apply for drive and then you have to select uh, the mode of uh, uh, test okay now from what i understand okay i think this is going to be only like in center okay so you just choose in center and then choose your preferred uh, test center right and then uh, you have to click on uh, apply now please note test center once chosen may not be changed is what they have uh, given okay right and uh, once you have completed everything you, you may not get you know like uh, the acknowledgement mail for your final application so what you have, so how you can confirm your application is that when you click on your track your application you have to get applied for drive okay so i'll show an old image here now first you have to after you complete your application your basic registration and application and all that you have to click on this apply for drive which you will see it on your left side okay so somewhere on the left side top so if you click on this apply for drive right uh, then uh, after that when you check your application status it's your status should be applied for drive okay so this is how you can confirm right now if you don't see apply for drive okay so probably you can log out and log in again and, and check uh, check whether you are uh, you you fulfill all the eligibility criteria like your batch your percentage and all that also check you know like whether you have you are registered through bps because you are not supposed to register in bps it you have to register in it and all that so you have to be uh, you have to do this part very carefully okay so this is the uh, apply part and the confirmation part okay now with this i come to the end of this video if you have any queries please do post your questions in the comment section below or uh, uh, you can you know like reach out to my insta handle now uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and share it with your friends who may need it and uh, if you are not already subscribed to our channel please do subscribe thanks for watching the video have a great day